What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee. Hope everybody had a blessed day. Happy Memorial Day to all the sir all the soldiers and everything that served, uh the serve and everything, woman or man, black, white, Puerto Rican, Asian, whatever whoever you are. I appreciate you guys for your service and everything. And like and like I've always said, you guys are very unappreciated here in this in this crazy country. The country that you guys fight for. Alright you guys. If you're going through a bad patch in your life, if you're frustrated, if you're aggravated, if you feel like nobody, you know, care anything about you, there is a man that loves you and there's a man that's concerned about you. His name is Jesus. It's not no religion. Okay? Jesus is not a figment of your imagination. He's a he, he is a man that died. So that we can live. Without Jesus, none of us, none of us would make it. You guys keep the dream alive. Excuse me, keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Never give up on your dream. No matter who walk away, no matter who pass away, no matter who tell you you would never amount to anything, no matter who tell you you don't have what it takes, keep going and keep pursuing your dream. Don't give up. You stay in the fight and everything. Keep fighting until the end. I believe in you, and most importantly, God and Jesus believe in you. That's why they created you to do something great. God has a blessing and a calling on calling on your life. Don't give up. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Real quick, if this is your first time tuning in to me and everything, please understand So I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to dog nobody. I ain't here to talk about nobody. I'm here to help you, not downgrade you, not, not make fun of you, not put your business on front street. Not to do any of that. I'm here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Okay, I ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody in. This ain't no gossip show. I'm not here to talk about gossip. I'm not here to do any of that. I'm here to challenge you directly, man and woman, to be better. And now listen to this BS you hear out here in the media and on TV. Okay, you guys. The top of the conversation for today, you guys, is called, Are Y'all Together for Money? Or y'all together for love? Love or money? Which one? You guys, real quick and everything. I want to tell y'all and everything. Sadly and everything. We have a lot of marriages in this screwed up ass country. And everything. They, people get divorced simply because of money. It has nothing to do with everything. A lot of times it don't have nothing to do with nobody cheating. It's because a man particularly... A man or even a woman in some cases don't make enough money. You guys, here's the thing. If you get married to somebody and everything, especially if it's a rich person. You guys, sorry about that. But you guys please understand something here. And you uh, kind of feel me on this. When you get married and everything, like I said before, you get married for love. You get married and everything because you care about the other person. You don't get married and everything over no damn money. If somebody come to you and everything be prior to them, you know, y'all getting married with a damn prenup. A prenuptial simply means I don't trust your ass with my money. You can sleep next to me. You can sit here and kiss me. You can feed, fix my food and everything. But when it comes to my money, I don't trust your ass. That's pretty much what a prenup is saying. And you should not marry nobody. I don't care a man or woman. You should not marry nobody on those pretense. That's not love, you guys. For the millionth time, money is nothing more than a piece of paper. Okay? You're supposed to marry somebody because you love them. Okay? You love them here. Not what's in their wallet. Because what happens if that money go? What happens if you... Break, break your ankle or break your leg and everything. Now you can't make the same money you used to make. That's what I try to tell you guys and everything. Make sure you marry for love. Make sure somebody care about you and treating you right because they love you. Not because you got a nice car or a nice house or, or plenty of money. And truthfully speaking, we have other situations out here where you have uh, this little this trend been going around for a while and everything. Talking about uh, gold digger pranks. Let me explain something to you. A gold digger simply means it's a female praying on a man's wallet. That's all it is. 
She's a shark in the water, and he's the fish in this in a form of money. That's all that shit is. Women don't don't get with a man because he has a fat wallet. Yes, you want to make sure that if, if y'all you know get together, you want to make sure you're provided for it, and possibly if you get pregnant, the kids provided for it. That I understand, but don't sit here. And sit up here and bullshit somebody, and if they like you love them and care about them, and you just using your body as manipulation to get he gets what he wants, you get what you want, and everything. Now you bounce out and you leave. That ain't no damn love. That's a damn transaction. Hey, what makes you any damn different than a damn hooker acting that way? I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect you, but that's the same principle. Of oh, pretty much what a damn hooker job is and everything. Sit here and tell you all these damn lies and everything. And then tell you what her service is, what her price is. What's the difference of you playing on the man's wallet to use sex as a unit or your body as a manipulation? That's what I try to tell you guys. We have to watch stuff out. We have to watch stuff like that. Be with somebody because you love them. Kanye West made a video say, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. And as we all know, especially nowadays, unfortunately, everything, you have women. Be, excuse me, females, let me correct myself. You have females being raised to be, you have females being raised and everything to be, uh, to look at men and everything as they're like a butler or they're just a roommate. Instead of trying to raise, instead of women, uh, females being raised to be women and to be wives and to be mothers. That's the problem, you guys. Women are supposed to be raised and everything to be mothers and to be wives, and to be, you know, at some point, of course, at uh, some point of independency, yes. But don't sit here and everything, just sit here and be independent, but you don't know nothing about being a mother, you don't know nothing about cooking, you don't know nothing, I don't hear that amount of this modern day bullshit. You don't, about, you don't know how to cook, some of everything, the girls, they, they, nowadays, they're beautiful as hell, got a nice body and everything, but you sitting their ass in there to cook, they've been to burn the damn house down, because they ain't been taught nothing. And sadly, sometimes they've been taught by their mother just to twist and shake their ass. That's not right. And you, some then you, on the men side of everything, men are talking to about you trying to be a pimp and everything. I got a woman over here, a woman over there. Let me, I sleep with this girl. She'll me use her as a trophy and everything. Oh yeah, I hit that already. Nigga, what's wrong with you? That's not right. You don't. Please understand something. Again, do not cheat. Or abuse the process of sex. That goes for men and women. If you really do love and care about somebody and everything, show it through your actions. Don't sit here and bullshit somebody and everything in order to get what you want. Don't do that. Don't sit there, oh girl, I love you. Girl, I care about you. I'll fight a lion for you and everything. Here a damn lion coming out of the woods and if they take off running, leaving your ass there to fight him. So that lets you know what type of man he was. And same thing with you, ladies. Same thing with y'all. You sit there talking about, baby, I love you. I can you rubbing all on a nigga head, sweat and shit coming down and all that and everything. But after you get what, after you give him what you what you think, well, give him what he wants, and you go clean his bank account or max out his credit card and everything, your ass dip. Oh, I played that nigga. What's wrong with us? That shit ain't right. On neither man or woman's side. Don't keep giving me this shit, I'm, I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man to help and everything. I'm an independent man. I don't need no help and everything. And what you gonna do when you get older? How you not need a man or woman help and everything, or the opposite sex, opposite sex help and everything? God created that way. You're gonna need a man or a woman help. Ain't no other way around it. What did you get married for? Why are y'all still together? Y'all together for love or y'all together because of money? Which one? That's the real million dollar question. So I'm just telling you and everything. Make sure. Matter of fact, I'm going to change the title of this video. It's going to be called The Million Dollar Question. But I'm just telling you, make sure and everything that you marry somebody or you get with somebody and be with somebody and everything because uh, you love them. Oh, what the hell is love and everything? I don't know what love is and everything because you got a dumb retarded ass nigga. That's why. Love is not set up here screwing a bunch of women. That's not love. Love is not sitting here cheating men out of their money. Or manipulating them with your body and with sex and everything to get what you want. That ain't no damn love. Them, them are damn transactions. 
So I'm just telling you and everything. Watch how you treat people. And watch how you do people. Because that shit going to come back on you. I keep trying to tell you ladies and everything. And gentlemen. Everything. I don't want to hear nothing about no prenuptial. Like I said earlier and everything. If somebody come to you talking about a prenuptial and everything. Don't even bother getting married to them. How the hell you, you can't trust me with your punk ass money and everything. But you trust somebody fixing your food for you. How you know she ain't laced your shit with some damn poison? How, how the hell you trust her to have sex with you and everything, but you don't trust her with your money? I don't understand that. How you know she ain't screwing somebody else on the side? And then you got, uh, you have couples out here, you got married couples out here and everything. They can't stand each other. They're separated, but because they're rich. And they live in nice houses and everything, or drive a nice car and everything. That's the only thing that keeps them together because of the money. What's wrong with you? Where are your morals? Where are your values? Money that damn important to you? Well, I don't want to be broke and everything. No shit, nobody do. But I'm just telling you and everything. When we gonna start using practical principles and act like we got some self respect? Ladies, you're going to have to twist and shake your ass to get money. And brothers, you ain't got to slay and bang for money. I'm going to say that again. Ladies, you ain't got to twist and shake your ass for money. And brothers, you ain't got to slay and bang for money. I know about the struggle. I know and understand you trying to make it. But at the same time and everything, when you're dealing with a relationship, when you see a girl you like or a dude you like and everything, love them for who they are. Don't sit here and treat me real nice and real friendly and be nice and talk sweet and fix me nice dinners because you know I got money. That's, fo that's, that's phony love. You're doing love and if you have an agenda in behind it. Don't do that. Don't sit here and treat a woman nice and kind and everything knowing you ain't doing nothing but trying to slip into her damn drawers. And then you score, you have sex with her, now you bragging to your boys about it. All men don't do that, ladies. And dudes, all ladies don't do that. And all ladies don't be after your wallet. We got to reprogram our minds around here. We listen to the wrong shit on our social media. If I could, I would speak publicly. I ain't talking about just here you know, on this platform. I'm talking about a much bigger one. Because people need to know the truth, man. You don't get married to somebody over money. You shouldn't divorce somebody over money. Divorce somebody because they cheated on you. Divorce... Somebody and everything because they're making your life a living hell. Divorce somebody and everything because they're abusive. Divorce somebody and everything because they abandoned you. You don't divorce somebody because he went from making $300,000. Now he's making $30,000. Now all of a sudden you, oh shit, I can't hang with you. What's wrong with you? You're with me when I'm up. But when my feet get cut out under me and I fall down, now you book. Something's not right about that. I don't need no, I, I'm like this. I don't need you around when I got a million dollars in my pocket. I need you around when I only got one dollar in my pocket. I don't need you treating me good, being sweet, making good love to me and everything when I got a million dollars in the bank. I need you being sweet and making love to me and everything when I only got two dollars in the bank. Oh nigga, you broke and everything. Well that tells me a lot about you. Like I said, you will rock with me and everything. You will flow with me as long as I'm doing good. But as soon as, but as, soon as adversity comes or as soon as the rain comes and everything, as soon as problems come and everything, you bail on me. That lets me know you weren't real from the start. All this prenup and gold digger and all that shit and everything and men messing with women uh, just for sex and women messing with men just for money. Ain't it funny? Women want to be financially secure and everything. Want a man to be financially secure so he can take care of her and take care of potentially kids. And men want to be physically secure, meaning sexually. And ain't it funny how the two kind of coincides with each other? But the problem is people turn it from being love to a transaction. And that's the problem. It's like you writing out a check for sex and you putting it in a bank. And you wonder why the shit bounce. You writing out a check and everything. This uh, take all his money off his credit card and everything. You wonder why the shit bounce. It ain't because he broke and everything. Because you ain't doing right. 
You can't, I keep telling you, you can't do, keep doing ugly shit to people and expect to live a beautiful life. I tell you, brothers and everything, make damn sure that she love you for you. You don't need no damn prenup. If you can't trust her with everything because you got money and everything, what the hell you get married to her for? What the hell you dealing with her for? And ladies and everything, you shouldn't come into a marriage or come into a relationship and everything based off that. Love the damn man for who he is. His flaws and all. Love the man for who he is. You can't love a man for who he is. Get the hell on. Don't sit up here and bullshit him, rub him all on his head and... Oh, baby, you look so beautiful. And I know damn well in your in back of your mind, you call it a nigga ugly. Come on, now, talk right. Be right. Be real. Too much bullshit going on in the world. You don't need no damn prenuptial. If you can't trust somebody with your money, especially if you got it going on, whether you woman or man, why bother getting into the relationship? You want all the benefits but you don't realize you're developing a consequence because you can't trust somebody with your money. What's wrong with us? I understand you worked hard for your money. I get all that. But if you can't trust a woman or a man with your money and everything, then why bother being in a relationship? But she's beautiful and everything. When she clean your damn bank account and max out your damn credit card, dumbass, then you'll learn something. Well, you understand, Brandon. She's... <clears throat> You understand, Brandon, he's handsome and everything. I like him and everything. That's why I had to, you know, be with him and everything. Okay, when you sit and screw your ass and then go on to the next woman, then you learn something. You're supposed to get together because you love one another. You understand each other's difference. You understand each other's flaws. Embrace you guys' difference. Don't sit here and nag about it. Embrace it. You're different for a reason. But you got a lot of people and everything. If you ain't got a certain amount of money, you ain't making six figures, though they ain't got no holler for you. I don't want to hear, or we don't listen to broke people around here. Nigga, shut up. Somebody rob your ass tonight. That's what I be talking about. People always try to be so damn high mighty. If my account don't have six figures in it and everything, that don't mean my opinion ain't important. If my account don't have six figures and everything, that don't mean because you a woman, you walk off and leave me. If I get into a car wreck and everything, and I can't walk no more and everything, and I can't make the amount of money and everything, are you going to bail on me? Are you going to walk away from me? That's what we're trying to tell you. You need to know these things, both men and women. If she gains, if, 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 uh, if the woman gains some weight and everything after having your damn kids, are you going to dog her and talk about her? Call her out her name because she didn't gain weight after having your big head kids? You gonna be cheating? You gonna be cheating around with your ex-wife, or cheating around with your ex-husband, or messing with some dude on the side, or some chick on the side? When you gonna learn and everything? God sees everything we do. You gonna reap what you sow. I'm like this: if you are tired of me, if you don't, if I don't make the same money you thought I was making, if you don't look the same way that you did when we was married, and you don't like it, or you didn't, she didn't have kids, and you complaining about it. Why be together? Why be together? Either you married for love or you have a hidden agenda. You don't have time for bullshit. Be real with me. Don't sit here and tell me and everything. Well, he makes good money, but he ain't good in bed. Well, she's, well, she have a beautiful body and everything, but this side chick I got, she's a better cook. Nigga, what's wrong with you? Woman and man. Why do you keep trying to get all your needs met by three or four different people? That's how people get hurt and get killed. If you can't get your needs met, excuse me, you can't get your needs met from one person and everything, why bother being in a relationship? You don't need four and five women, you don't need four and five men and everything to satisfy what you need. Why not open your mouth and discuss with your partner, discuss with your husband or wife what the problem is? And hopefully they can try to change it. Nobody's perfect. But I'm just telling you and everything, you shouldn't be getting married for money. 83% of marriages in this, excuse me, 83% of marriages and everything, the reason why they fell in this country, and ain't because of somebody cheating, ain't because of abuse, ain't because of somebody lying, ain't because of none of it's because of money. Because people married for money, they didn't marry for love. They stood right in front of God and they lied to him, lied to God's face about their damn vows. Remember, people, listen. For richer or poor, for sick or for health, those are vows you're making to God. 
and you sitting there, as soon as the damn nigga lose his job, you out the door. As soon as the damn nigga run into a bad patch and everything, woman, you gone. Or you got Joe on the side here. As soon as, and vice versa and everything, as soon as she gains some weight, man, you, you ready up and mess with another woman. What's wrong with you? No, can't nobody complete you but God. We all understand that. But at the same time and everything, you should never make your spouse feel insecure when they're around you. You're supposed to build each other. It's a partnership, not a damn business transaction. This is a partnership and a covenant you made with God. And if you're sitting up here, got a third party meeting, another man or another woman, or you messing around and everything, what you think is going to happen? You done violated the damn contract. Now you're going to have to answer to God. Don't mess around and get caught in your sin. I'm just letting you know. Let's cut out this bullshit, y'all. Marry for love, not for money. Not, be, not because, and I understand everybody want a handsome husband and beautiful woman. But don't sit here and leave me simply because I don't make enough money. Don't sit here and abandon me and everything because we have to downsize for a season. Remember, hang with me when I'm down. Don't just hang with me when I'm up. Don't sit here and praise me when I'm up and everything. We got a million dollar mansion and God forbid something happened and everything. Now we're only living in a, a two, three bedroom apartment with us and the kids. You should have been calling me every name in the book. Girl, he fell off, girl. Uh-uh. This is not what I pictured my life to be. This is why I don't pin on no nigga to take care of me. What's wrong with your mind? All this talk, both men and women, I, oh, I ain't doing nothing no man tell me to do. I ain't doing nothing no woman tell me to do. You keep hating each other and everything. I'm keep telling you. It's going to catch up with you. You're going to wish to God you didn't say that. I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Marry for love. Stop marrying and everything for hitting agendas. Stop being phony like you really love to do and you don't and everything. You just want to get a hold of his money and then run off and leave with you and your friends. Stop acting like you care about it and everything. You know you just want to tear that ass up and then you out the door. Keep shit real. Love her for who she is. Care about her, respect her. Love him for who he is. Care about him, respect her. The minute love fall out of relationship, ain't no more relationship. You supposed to be committed to each other. Like I say, everybody want the benefits of sex. Everybody want the benefits of relationship. But don't nobody want the responsibilities of it. Don't nobody want the trials and tribulations of it. That's the problem. So this is Beretta 19, you guys. I hope y'all got somebody this today. I hope y'all feel me where I come from. Remember, all men and all women are not the same. Children are a gift from God. But we, like I said, when you start letting money govern your relationship, whether you're married, fiance, or just going together, whatever the case may be, your relationship ain't going to last long. I don't care if you are a millionaire or billionaire. Marry somebody because you love them. Marry somebody because you see past their flaws. Women, don't leave a man and everything because he tells you what your uh, flaws are. He, he tells you and everything. He stands up to you and lets you know that he's a man, not some damn punk. He's letting you know and everything as he should. That he's the alpha male and he's the head of the house. Don't, I don't want to hear none of this modern day women shit and everything. I want to hear all that. Remember women, you are the assistant coach. You're supposed to be in God's eyes. You know what I mean? Then that's not a downgrade. I've said this before. That's not a downgrade. And that's not a put down. But y'all supposed to work together. It's a partnership. Not a damn internship. This is a partnership. This is not a transaction. When you make vows and stuff in front of God, you got to keep them. If you tired of his ass, you tired of her ass and everything, then what the hell are y'all still doing together? If y'all two ain't making love or having sex the way y'all used to and y'all don't like it and everything, hell, work this shit out. Go to a damn seminar or some shit and everything. Or, or watch some, watch a movie or something. Do something. Y'all together. You're in, a, you're in a relationship. Do what you got to do to keep it intact. Don't, but don't sit here and divorce somebody or leave somebody because they don't have no money. Or, because they, or they get low on money, I should say. Now, I understand. There are some men that don't want to uh, get up and go to work. There are some men that are lazy as hell. I, I give you that. But on the flip side of that, there are some women that are lazy as hell. You up been hollering about me, boy, nigga, why you ain't got $100,000? How come we ain't got no business? Do you have it? Do you make 100000 a year? Where your Bentley at? Where your mention at? It works both ways, people. 
How are you going to expect something from a man that you ain't producing yourself? How are you going to expect something from a woman that you ain't producing yourself? If you're not producing it, then you're losing it. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Whatever you are searching for in this world, if you are searching for a wife, you're searching for a husband and everything, make sure you search for what you need. And God is, and you will get what you need and what you want if you wait on God. But don't sit here and just leave the man or leave the woman. She gained a little weight or he don't make enough money. But he has a good heart and he'll treat you like a queen. Oh, I don't care about that shit. What good you gonna get a man that got money and gonna abuse the shit out of your ass? You gonna get a man that's gonna dog you. That's gonna talk down on you. And same thing with you, uh, fellas. Don't sit here and get with a woman and everything. She didn't have your kids. She showed you that she cared about you. She showed you that she a real woman. Not none of this phony shit now that she a real woman and she down by your side. Them kind of women you hang on to. And trust me, they are hard to find. They are hard to find. You get you a woman and everything that love you. Get you a woman that she'll love and kiss you and everything. If y'all living in a mansion and she still will hang with you if somehow y'all became homeless. They don't make women like that no more. Everybody nowadays, like I said, every man for themselves. I don't need no nigga. I can do this. I don't need no woman. I can do this. What's wrong with you? Is money that damn important to you? You gonna mess up your marriage over? Mess up your life over? Mess up, break the kids' hearts? The money is that important to you? So just let you know and everything. Let's get shit right around here. It's Loretta 19. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed.